Hi everybody and welcome to the latest episode in the Club Guide series here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. Hope you're doing well. Please hit the thumb up button if you don't mind and if you're not a subscriber, please hit that button as well. Totally free to do so. This is of course part of a series looking at all the clubs in the game of Golf Clash and this episode, as you can see on the screen right now, is going to look at all of the short irons. Like the rest of the episodes, we're going to look at each one in turn, have the stats on screen and analyse some scenarios where these clubs may or may not be useful and also give my recommendations on what you may want to upgrade and when as you journey through the different stages of the game. Let's get started. We're going to start by looking at two to begin with, the Apache Unlocked Tool 1, that is of course a rare one, and the Kingfisher is an epic one that is unlocked at Tour 2. Obviously the Kingfisher is slightly harder to unlock as it's in a later tour and is also an epic rather than a rare. Now, if you've got the Apache and all you've got is the Apache, you're going to go with that over the beginner short iron. However, the accuracy is bad, you've got no accuracy at level 1, very limited accuracy at level 2, and you also have no backspin, so it's very difficult to control the ball. The ball guide is also not very good at all. When you unlock the Kingfisher, I would switch to that over the Apache instantly. Even at level 1, look, you've got 65% accuracy. Okay, 5 yards less power, however, that's not really going to make too much difference in your early days in the game. You have some top spin, but you have a good amount of backspin there. 50% backspin, and you've got a much better ball guide. Okay, it's only 2.3, but that's way better than 1.5. You can look at that second bounce, and you can control the ball much easier. We're going to discard curl completely, as you're not really going to be needing curl on any short iron shots unless you are in a very very strange point on the fairway you're really not going to worry about curl so if you've got the kingfisher available over the apache then have the kingfisher there and keep going with the upgrades on either of these that you are using until of course you've got the runner or the thorn and we're going to look at those clubs next here's the runner unlocked at uh, tour three this is a common one so you're going to get through the levels fairly easily here the problem is, though, the backspin in the first five levels, not very good. Even though you've got loads of top spin, this is a situational short iron and will be good for rough bumps. When you haven't got the Hornet at a very high level, or indeed where you need a load of top spin, which may not be offered by the Hornet, even in a very high level. So this one is going to be a friend for rough bumps. The ball guide increases dramatically as you get up to the uh, higher levels here. You haven't got much to begin with here. If this is the only one you have available and you haven't unlocked the Apache or the Kingfisher, of course, you're going to switch to this one because it's going to be better the beginner's short iron. However, this one is going to be something that you want to keep upgrading. However, the priority is going to be the next club that we're going to look at. Brilliant short iron. Let's have a look at the Thorn right now. This is going to be your all-purpose short iron and is an absolute beast of a club. You are going to use this to drop a load of eagles, and uh, nail some excellent shots at short range, but maybe just out of the uh, distance of your wedge. The thorn is going to be your friend. You've got great amount of backspin to begin with, so you can control the ball really nicely from an early level. Even at level one, look, 75% backspin. The ball guide gets pretty good from level seven onwards. In fact, really good in level eight and nine, but it is still usable in level three plus as well. Of course, You've got to weigh up what level you've got in conjunction with the Kingfisher and the Runner and the Apache. But where possible, I really would favour the Thorn because this is a club you're going to use a lot. And I would recommend you get used to this club and uh, working out how the shots work and the adjustments you need to make as soon as possible. You can play rough bumps with this one in a higher level. You've got 50% top spin at level 8. You have decent accuracy as well, so you're not pulling a huge amount of rings in high level. But the best thing is the backspin. Like I said, you've got loads of it at level 1. And once you're at level 5 onwards, and particularly with the ball guide, level 7, 8 and 9, you can play those max backspin shots, bouncing beyond the pin, rolling back into the cup. And you can play dunks as well. We've got tutorials on how to play dunks with the thorn. A brilliant club. You're going to use it a lot, upgrade it and get used to it as soon as you can. Quick break here to let you all know that you can get PDF printable versions of the charts with all of the drivers on one page. And that's going to be same for the wood clubs 
and the short irons and so on for every club in the game over on patreon.com forward slash BK Golf Clash. Really useful charts that you can print out and look at all the stats and attributes may be worthwhile you having if you're playing tournaments or tour play to help you quickly work out what you need to upgrade or what you need to use. So all of those printable charts available on Patreon. Get yourself involved there and support the channel at the same time. Not everybody likes the Thorn though. Some will prefer the Hornet and let's have a look at the Hornet now. Loads of accuracy and that does appeal to players. You've got brilliant accuracy from level one, gets up to 100% accuracy at level nine. The thing that the Hornet generally has over the Thorn is topspin and in certain scenarios you will want to use the Hornet rather than the Thorn if you want something with more accuracy, better ball guide and of course a decent amount of power if the runner isn't cutting it. Do you want to use this as your all-purpose tour play uh, short iron? That is entirely up to you. The backspin is not as good. So in terms of controlling the ball in more scenarios, then the Thorn really does it for me. However, some players love the Hornet. They like the accuracy. When you're playing with high wind conditions, though, the problem with the accuracy is, uh, of course, you've got to have to adjust more rings. And whereas with the Thorn, you can pretty much keep this under a 10 ring adjustment. So you're only having to make one pull here. With the Hornet, sometimes you're going to have to make two pulls. And of course, then you lose accuracy yourself in the adjustment process. Though so this is going to be a personal thing. Most players, however, they do tend to prefer the Thorn and that will be my choice as well. But don't rule out the Hornet. You are going to need it on certain holes where you need topspin to play a rough bump. Now we're going to look at the claw. This is a strange one, really. It's unlocked at Tour 6. It is a common one, so you are going to level this one up fairly quickly if, you, of course, you're playing Tour 6 and above. Does it have really a specific use? Sadly, not. It has a load of curl, but like we've already identified in this video, that is going to be pretty much next to useless, unfortunately. With the claw, this is all going to be depending on where your other clubs are and where you've spent your bankroll as you've been progressing up the tours. And I would advise you always to just look at what you're doing in the game. Check the level of the Apache, the Kingfisher, and also the runner maybe. Is it going to outperform the Thorn or the Hornet? No, it never is really. But you've just got to look at what you want out of this club. There is no top spin, unfortunately, until you get to level four. The accuracy isn't great, but even at level one, you have got a decent amount of backspin, even though the ball guide isn't great. So if this is uh, the only short iron, or rather, if you've not been very uh, lucky with unlocking the earlier short irons, you may need to use this one a bit more. It's going to all depend on personal circumstance. Obviously, every person's journey through the game is different and you may unlock different clubs at different stages to other people so you've just got to compare this to the rest of the clubs in the bag unfortunately no specific use case for this one but of course it is a common one not difficult to upgrade does it shine in any particular area unfortunately not and now we come on to the Tour 7 Short Iron Brilliant Club this is the Falcon here now you're not really going to use this until uh, fairly late on in your golf clash journey. Uh, definitely you're not going to see this in rookie or pro tournaments and probably not suggested in expert content because the go-to short irons are going to be the Thorn and the Hornet. However, in master tournaments and definitely in higher tour play, if you've got this level 7 plus for that wonderful ball guide, then this is the club to use. You haven't got max backspin though, even at level 8, so it doesn't outdo the thorn in that regard. So if there are scenarios where you want to go for the dunk or the max backspin shot, then the thorn is still going to win. However, the ball guide is very good. The power is very good and it is also very accurate. Are you going to use it at level one? I'd probably say no. Stick with the thorn and wait until you've got this at a very, very decent level. It is going to take time, of course, uh, being one of the uh, epic clubs. But when you've got it up in level seven and eight, brilliant up in master tournament level thank you for watching this video as part of the club guide series here on the channel i hope you found it useful and remember if you have found it useful please give me a thumb up and share it with your friends and clan mates in the game as well remember to check out the other parts of the series of course and otherwise i look forward to seeing you all soon good luck in your golf clash games bye for now